Kendra and today I have an empties video for you. These are where I let you guys know all the products that I've used up over the last month or two and whether or not I would buy them again. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and let's get started. So first up, I have a ton of tea. I, like you guys know, I stopped drinking coffee a little bit ago. I just am not really craving it, so I'm not going to drink it. Uh, so I've been drinking tea, like three cups a day, a lot of tea. So first up, we have this Republic of Tea. It's the Daily Green Tea and Ginger Peach. I really like this, it's a really, mellow tea. It's not very intense. If you are new to drinking tea, this would be a good one to try out because I wanted a green tea when I got this, but I don't like just straight up green tea. It's too, ugh, I don't like the taste of it. So this is, the peach really makes it a lot more drinkable. It's really good and green tea is just so good for you. So I would definitely buy this again. Next I have the Triple Leaf Tea Cold and Flu Time. This is a Chinese herbal tea and it's good for your throat, for healthy breathing, and to just keep your immune system healthy. I got this a couple months ago because my parents were like crazy sick and I was determined that I was not going to sick and Andrew and I somehow managed to stay healthy during the time they were like out for a week. It was insane. So I drank this probably twice a day for a week and I, I think it really helped me a lot. I also was taking a lot of vitamins too. It doesn't taste the best. It's a very herbally tea, but not a sweet herbal. So I would either put raw honey in here or a little bit of uh, rock sugar from Tivana, and that would really help to sweeten it up a bit, but I liked it, it was good. Next up we have the Organic Throat Coat. This is in the Lemon Echinacea. It's naturally caffeine free and it's herbal tea. I love this. This is one of my favorite teas. It's really sweet though. It has licorice root in here. It has marshmallow leaf and orange peel cinnamon. It has echinacea in here so that's really good to keep you healthy but it also is just super soothing on your throat. So if you have a sore throat, this is always what I take if I ever feel any sickness coming on. I love taking this. It's so soothing and it's pretty sweet. So um, you know, if you like a sweeter tea then you definitely like this. If you don't like licorice, like if you're against, opposed to licorice, then you might not like this, but I love licorice. I love licorice. And last up for tea, we have the Tazo Vanilla Rubios Parfait. And this, what, it's caffeine free. It has apple, peach, cinnamon, and vanilla in here. I like this. It's a very wintertime tea. It's kind of warm and, you know, sweet. So it's good when it's cold outside. Would I buy this again? Probably not because I'm not the biggest fan of Tazo teas. They're not the best. Uh, they're not the most natural. I would prefer like um, traditional traditional medicinals and then this triple leaf tea. Those are better. Next up I have the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus uh, Shea Body Lotion and it has brightening and toning properties to this. This is one of my all-time favorite lotions. Oh man, this is the perfect lotion for the summer. They also have one, okay, who is it? Shea Moisture and then, oh, Nubian Heritage. Uh, they have the same kind of lotion. So either one, they have both of these on Vitacost. They're just really moisturizing and they smell amazing, but they also leave a little bit of like a shine to your skin. So your skin kind of glows. It, such a good lotion. They also, I mean, it's supposed to help tone your skin too free of like everything and bad that you don't want in your products, no animal testing, no parabens, none of that crap. So highly recommend this. It's really good. Next up I have two foundations. First we have the Lorac Perfection. I finally used this up. I This lasted me so long. So I have the shade PR5 and this is oil free, paraben free, fragrance free, SPF 20. Love this. This is such a good uh, medium to full coverage foundation. You can really build it up. Leaves your skin looking flawless. Uh, it's really good for sensitive skin and won't irritate you. So if I'm wanting more of a full coverage foundation, this is what I would use. It also has vitamins in here. Vitamin A, E, olive leaf extract, lemon fruit, and papaya fruit extract. So it's just so good. You guys know I like this. And I went through the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the shade 130, but I've been a couple different shades of this. This, I have a little bit left, but it's for sure expired. I don't even know when I got this one. I'm, as I'm like, I don't, it's kind of bittersweet. I kind of don't want to throw it away because there is some product in here left 
but I feel like it is way past its time and I don't really want it to irritate my skin. I might try it one more time. Now that I'm like looking at it, I don't really want to get rid of this. This is a really good foundation though. It is great for pictures if you are getting married, if you have an event to go to. Such a good uh, foundation for photography. And I'm just looking at it on my skin. It just really blurs any imperfections, really soothes, not soothes, smooths your skin. And it's just the perfect like texture. I'm trying to think which one I actually like better, this one or the... Laura, I haven't used this in so long, but this is my all-time favorite forever. So. Okay, next we have the Alba Botanica Natural Hawaiian Shampoo. This is the Plumeria kind. It's for vibrant, lasting color, no, no color stripping sulfates or salts. And I can't remember about this. Oh, it smells good. I think I like this. I'm pretty sure I like this. Actually, you know what? I ended up using this as a body wash. So whenever I start using a shampoo as a body wash, it's not my favorite, but it was fine. Like, it's just kind of a whatever shampoo. It wasn't bad in any way, but it didn't well. I went through the Jason Soothing 70% Aloe Vera Lotion. This is a all natural hand and body lotion, and I love this lotion. Andrew really likes this too, so I like to have a lotion that both of us can use, just kind of save some space. And this is perfect for the summertime because there's so much aloe vera in here, so it's really soothing to the skin especially like right after you get out of the sun, lather your body with this and it feels really nice. So highly recommend this. It's a really, really good lotion. And I love that it has a pump. Next we have the Derma E Tea Tree and E Face and Body Wash. I didn't know this was a face wash too. So I originally got this for Andrew because his skin's on the oily side and I just thought this would be a good product for him, but I'm pretty sure he never used this. I, I don't think he ever used this. So I ended up using it and I didn't like it. It was so strong of tea tree. If you guys have used just tea tree oil on your face, this smells like that, like you're just pouring tea tree oil all over your body. Just so strong. And you know what? If it did a really good things to my skin, I'd get over that and I would still use it. But I didn't really notice that much of a difference in my skin. For me, I my areas of concern on my body, like the backs of my legs, I get little bumps. And I always am trying to find different things to help that. So if you guys know of things, let me know. I've heard that alpha lipoic acid is good for that. And it's supposed to help like kind of give yourself like a chemical exfoliant on your skin. Um, and this didn't really do anything. But yeah, my, the backs of my legs just get like those little bumps. And it's just really, I mean, it's, it's fine. You can't really tell, but I can tell. So next yeah. I have another one of my Julian Farrell Restore. These are like their pre-shampoo vitamin restore. So you use this before you shampoo your hair and it is so good for your scalp that right after you wash this out of your hair, your hair is going to feel so soft and amazing. I love this stuff. I have one, wait, I think I'm out of these now. I thought I had one more, but I don't, I think I'm done. But um, just something that I love to always have on me in my shower because if my hair is ever feeling a little bit on the dry and brittle side, I use this and it like takes my hair back to being healthy again. Okay, I went through the Bliss Soma, Bliss Soma Free Rejuvenating Herbal Gel Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I was not the biggest fan of this. I ended up using this as a body wash because I just kind of wanted to use it up. But it was just a really gentle cleanser. If you have super, super sensitive skin, you might like this because it's really gentle, but it just didn't do much for me, it didn't wow me, I didn't care for the scent. I went through the Walita Wild Rose Creamy Body Wash. This I had really high hopes for, I thought it was going to be like a really luxurious product, but the scent was really strong of rose. Now I'm okay with some rose, but not like, let me see, it's almost a like herbally rose, I don't know just not my favorite so I wouldn't get this because again because it's pretty expensive so yeah no. this is by L'Occitane and it is their I don't need it's all in French loving body care balm and this is for really dry skin and it's a scrub I thought this was going to be different this lasted quite a while actually for being as small as it is it really did like a little bit went a long way but it didn't like when I'm when I think of a scrub I have some mascaras and eyeliners to talk about. For mascaras, I have two NYX mascaras. Once again, NYX mascaras, I... What 
what are they putting in these mascaras? They make my lashes so crunchy, so hard. They do nothing for them and it makes me really mad because I think one of these I used like two times and every time I used them, my eyelashes, I was just like, what happened to my lashes? I have the Stacked and the More to Love. The More to Love was better. I liked the wand. But again, like at the end of the day, not good. I also went through the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga in waterproof. This was all right. I would prefer it to be a little bit more wet. Like it didn't really apply that much product. And I was finding myself like going back in and like applying a thousand coats. The wand is kind of like this flimsy wand. Um, I didn't care for it because I felt like I didn't have as much control over it. So I would not buy this again. I am so in love with my CoverGirl Lash Blast, the waterproof orange one. I just can't use anything else now. And for eyeliners, we have the NYX Curve Liner. So this has the, you know, felt tip pen and this was okay. I did like how it applied and like the formula of it, but I wasn't a fan of the brush. It was kind of a pain. Then there is the CoverGirl. I don't know what this call is called, but it's their little tiny liner. It's a really tiny pen. I didn't like this because it was really small and you didn't have as much control over it and the tip wasn't that pointy so I wouldn't get this again. A couple lip products we have the Cora's Lip Butter and Jasmine. Love this. This is one of my favorite lip products. It is a really creamy really moisturizing lip butter. The thing I like the most about this it has like a slight tint of this light pink color. And you can apply it no matter what makeup you have on. It doesn't look like you have a ton of lip... Like, it doesn't look like you have a lipstick on, but it gives your lips just this really nice, neutral, pink shade. It's... I love it. Then we have the Yes to Carrots Lip Butter, and this is the carrot flavor. I love these Yes to Carrots Lip Butters. I don't like the carrot one as much, because it tastes like you're eating carrots. But the mango one is really, really good. Uh, they're just so hydrating, so definitely definitely would buy those again. Okay, we have a Schmitz deodorant in Yeleng Yeleng Calendula. This is an all-natural deodorant. It's phthalate-free, paraben-free. I like this because it works on me, but it was getting really annoying to scoop all this out. Like, it's kind of a pain to rub, you know, like the cream under your arms. I'm using another one now, and I like it better because of how it rubs on your underarms, like, a lot more smoothly but this works better. So obviously I would get the one that works better more, even if it's a little bit more of a hassle to put on. I would get this again. I like this scent too. Next up we have the Josie Marin 100% Argan Oil. This lasted me a really long time. I use this on my hair at the ends and it really adds a lot of moisture to my hair. I use this on my face as a nighttime moisturizer and it just is a really good oil. So if you guys are looking to try some new face oils, or hair oils, I would re definitely recommend this. I prefer this over the Acure one. I know a lot of people like the Acure one, and it is a lot cheaper, but for me, this works a lot better. So, yeah, which stinks because it's more expensive. And then I have a couple of the First Aid Beauty products. <sighs> These I wasn't really impressed with. I have the Facial Radiance Polish and the Face Cleanser, and the polish, I ended up using it on my body because it didn't really do anything for my face. And the cleanser was irritating my eyes a lot. And it, if it got in my eyes, it would really burn. And I didn't care for the scent. So, yeah. Um, but I'm using, the, right now I'm using the one, it is red. It's kind of like a goopy red texture. I really like that one though. It's in my shower right now and I have a lot more to go. So, um, once I use that up, I'll let you guys know more about that. I used up the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is just a loose setting powder, no color in it. This is amazing for your under eyes. It really does a good job at setting the concealer and giving just a flawless look on your skin. Love this. Love this for like wedding makeup. It's just a really good setting powder. I went through the Acure Unscented Argan Oil Cleansing Towelettes. I like these, but I've now I like my Giovanni ones better, and I also really like the Pacifica ones that I just got. So I'm not going to be buy these, buying these again. I'm going to stick with the Pacifica ones and the Giovanni. Two more things, then we're done. I have the Murad Detoxifying White Clay Body Cleanser. Really like this. Uh, this is just like a sample, deluxe sample size, so I didn't really get to 
see a lot of benefits from using this because it, I only got a couple of uses out of it. But it's a really rich cleanser. I think it did a really good job at actually cleansing my skin. And it says it's supposed to detox your skin. So it has, what is in here, ginger root to help stimulate circulation. And safflower and sunflower oils to add moisture to the skin. So I really like this. And last I have a little sample size body wash. This is by the company Anne Marie. My cousin works for them, so she sent me like a kit of all these little trial sizes, and um, I'm using them right now, and I'm really, really enjoying them. They're super natural products, so uh, the peppermint body wash was actually really nice. It smelled like super strong of, like a, <laughs> I was going to say peppermint rosemary, and that's what it's called. So yes, it's true to the name. It smells like peppermint and rosemary in the shower but it did feel really good on my skin. Okay, that is everything that I have used up over the past two months, I wanna say, so I'm excited to get rid of these things, clear out some space, try some new products, and just really working hard right now on using up products that are like, have a third of their product left. I just wanna get rid of some things, use products up, give things away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, just click the little subscribe button and you can see my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy empties, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Howdy! So I was kind of laying in bed for a while, so I'm having some tea. This is the Her Tea by Your Tea. 